Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are in the Tri-Cities out here in Washington. We're about to go check out the Lakeside Gem and Mineral Club's rock show. Uh, right now, we're a little early, but they have this kind of tailgate event happening. And then at 10, rock show. So vendors, cases, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go check out, maybe we find some good deals. I have high hopes. I usually, so. yeah, usually tailgate events that's where, that's where you find the good deals. I wish more clubs did stuff like that. So let's go see what we can find. I'm working at it. I haven't been able to get crystals, but They're I can get very beautiful. color. Yeah. But that's just formation afterwards. I have no I will, idea. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it's... Yeah, These are tech guides up here. These are... Uh, the big parts. Metal? 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 No, parts of tall. Turkish thunder. Thunder is so cool. Yeah. Yes. Catch pants. Hmm. He's set up here in the demo area. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Uh, those two uh, went first and second place in the Yakima Fairgrounds in their show up there. And, uh, two for a dollar. Yeah. Uh, I'd go 85 with either one. Yeah. Two for a dollar thunder eggs. One's double. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like three for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Three for a dollar because it's a double. <laughs> Light here. I'd like to get a couple of thunder eggs from you. That one has some beautiful dendrites in it. Oh, thank you. Uh, start with the cases. And like most shows, we have uh, we get to vote. And they'll have a number up here. That's actually really impressive. I wonder if those, uh, the wings, they kind of look like a, I don't know, Brazilian agate? That's kind of, that's kind of what that looks like. And then some of the darker ones look like Montana. Hmm. Yeah. It's impressive. Nice. They're on a rock, too. Mm -hmm. Impressive specimens. Like some watermelon tourmaline back there. Hmm. Hmm. Some good petrified wood. I mean, it's always nice to be able to like see. I like the label. I like having some labels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not familiar with this stuff in the middle there, but obviously Saddle, <laughs> Saddle yeah. Mountain. That's some good Saddle Mountain wood. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. I think uh, this could be. Yeah, he won some trophies here. <laughs> uh, that's the way a display case needs to look. Labels on everything, not overloaded. A theme, a theme, that's good. Nice assortment. Very colorful. That's an interesting sepatarian nodule. Yeah. Usually you see like it's they're all yellow on the inside. Yeah, not much going on in that one. I kinda like that. I kinda like that black. I mean so far. So far these cases are pretty good. Like yeah. you know, themes, labels, information. All very good. I like the I like the uh, optical like the prismed calcites. Mm -hmm. We were not. Did you pay for to get in the door and did you get one of these? No, we didn't get those, but we did pay to get in. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you. This is the door price. Uh, it's called okay. every half. Thank oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. And we apologize for that. Oh, that's, oh, okay. that's all good. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we'll win. <laughs> that's Pretty. impressive that all of it's from Oahe County. 
I mean, now, now Oahe is quite the county. It's on our, our on our bucket list of places to visit. Let's see. Not really. Ra I mean, well, we got some uh, Brazilians, and I don't. I don't really know. Wow. So these are things we've read about in Rock and Gem, yeah. and like have talked about on the podcast, which I should go check that out previously. Round previously Rock Hunting podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they're kind. Of, it's it's neat. I don't I don't know else, what else to say. I mean, yeah. it's a, it's a good way to use up your real tiny yeah tumbled stones. That was a little better example. Mm -hmm. Nice wire wraps. Well, the little thing's not rotating. No, it's not. <laughs> it ran out of juice. Yeah. Wow, that's uh, uh, That is quite the petrified wood slab. It's a big piece. I feel like a slab of that size, it needs legs. It needs to be its like, own table, yeah. you know? That's very cool. Oh, I like they're rotating. So, okay. I gotta hold this still, still so you can see, see them rotate. So custom risers with um, the little rotating displays underneath. You can't even see the little display. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that's great because if you have a sphere in a yeah. case, what, like you only get to see half. I like that. So that's all like, uh, yeah. Man. Oh, you're gonna I, like. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta There's a lot of good cases maybe here. Maybe we're taking ideas. We're gonna I borrow some of these ideas. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so if you watched the Rock Rollers show, I'm a fan of the Stone Snoopy. This, that is so cool. There, there's no. Okay, I might be voting in case eleven. What do you think I so don't far? Know. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah, but that look at the little yeah. guy. Look at the little guy. There's He's got a... goggles on. Uh -huh. It's funny. The only thing I could say would make these better would be if they were rotating. If they were rotating, that'd be a little, slightly cool. Yeah. I like that. Ah, uh, Mike. You should definitely go watch the video I did with Mike. Beautiful, beautiful faceted stones. Cool. He's got the big rough ones, and then mm. the. The faceted. I and... do like that. I like that a lot when anytime any like lapidary cases that have finished work, it's cool to see uh, start to finish. Yeah, you know, like see the uh, man made like laser, like laser rubies. Oh, very cool. It's interesting. Yeah. I wonder if that's done by hand or not. I don't know. Good question. Hmm. <laughs> Good assortment. Yeah. More labels. Maybe people... I feel like uh, this, we're seeing more labels yeah. here than usual, which is nice. It's just in the, in the club culture to label your stuff. I dig it. Oh. A lot of labels. Hmm. I, I mean, I, I, jewelry looks nice. I guess I just don't know enough to really like comment and be like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice piece of Spencer Opal. We need to go to the Spencer Opal mine. Yes. Uh, the, posted a couple of days ago on Facebook and they were like, oh, covered in snow. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like, that's a good separate. I like the separatarian nodules that are turned into eggs. Yeah. It's fun. Let's go look at the, our other More cases tasty. over here. Some beautiful little specimens. This could, uh, so I don't think so. all of these could fit in a perky, um, like that piece of amethyst, but uh, I appreciate the much smaller mineral specimens are often finer. You can actually get perfect things, which that's cool. It's 
thunder eggs back hmm. there. Are they, I wonder if that's like um those little displays are those solar? Yeah, maybe. And if they so, do kind of like, look like that. Yeah, they kind of have that like little the lights aren't cutting it. That's nice to be able to put a fascinating machine in the case. I guess uh, they're doing demos here, which that's cool. Oh, I saw those. Hmm. Um, heart shaped for ashtray. <laughs> Ashtrays aren't uh, the projects they used to be. Use it for other things also. You put your fine jewelry in it. Carving, so it's cool. Yeah. Oh, that, that thing is begging to be cut. Wow. How, how, how? Steens them out. Yes, we need to go. Except we, we, we definitely cut it. Definitely cut it. Yes. <laughs> Those are some oh, be beautiful cool. rounds. Yeah. Huh. I like that. Yeah, those are a lot. The, oh, the pine cone. That's oh. cool. Oh. I'm I'm kind of partial to the Douglas firs, the white yeah. the white ones back there. Yeah. That's not something you typically see in people's collections, hmm. but the other two are not in there. Okay, oh, this is really good. You can break into oh. that. <laughs> You're not breaking in. <laughs> it's a rare item. I have that uh, uh, mineral exploration and mining essentials book. is very very good. It's a very good book. But yeah, uh, to have a I like it. The, the case of ephemera is very nice to see. And I'm still, I'm, I'm still like the little stone figurines. Big piece of dinosaur bone. Wow, that's big. Kids exhibit. Yes. I like it. Huh. That's a nice. Uh, I like the. Yeah. They're really filling this whole case here <laughs> with the uh, specimens. Pretty cool. Hmm. It's nice that there's like so many uh, junior exhibits. There's more than what I, I would have. The club thought. has a pretty active junior group. It was like a little river of sunstones wow. back there. <laughs> a lot of sunstones. Yeah, some of those have Schiller. A bunch of those have Schiller in them. Double, double thunder it. Mm -hmm. very... That's kind of <laughs> Minecraft. Versus real life. Like the project I, I, I like that's pre, that's pretty that, that's pretty good that's yeah. pretty good hmm. some old school labels in here quite the junior collector yeah or inherited I feel like it might be a little in, a little inherited some. here. I mean, uh, anytime you see labels that are either handwritten or done with a typewriter, that kind of dates it. Yeah. Kind of dates it. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Some nice uh, cabochons. A lot. That Bruno Jasper right there is nice. Yes. Tumbled crosses. Oh, uh, hey. Four Seven Hills Opal. Mm -hmm. That sphere. That place is on our bucket list, so it's nice to see. It's a big, uh, chunky common opal there. Yeah. <laughs> Quite cool. Well, we have lots of vendors we should uh, roll around and check out, but first, I think we should vote. I'm voting for the little figures. What number was that? We'll have to go back and find yeah. it. Yeah. What are you voting for? I don't know. 
Maybe when we go back and find it, I'll refresh my memory. Wrist. Okay, so that guy's getting drunk. That guy's metal detecting. That guy's a miner. And that guy's lounging, watching television. And reading a book. And reading a book. Like, I'm sorry, this is the best case, that's the best case of the show. It's probably like here every year. <laughs> <laughs> And it's like Morning. yeah hey patrick so uh patrick also has a youtube channel what's your youtube I do. Channel? uh it's called patrick donahue and you do rocks uh, and geology lapidary and... science geology that kind of stuff fascinating stuff so the president of the lakeside gem and mineral club for the next couple of years so can come and get a geode crack by the president and the first lady yes <laughs> uh, already, I gotta say the cases are better than many shows for a, a good, num number of reasons. A good selection this year. They're very good, very good. Um, can you can you crack something? Are you ready to crack anything? We're all set Maybe up to can, go. We, can we just ha do I just have to hang out and wait for somebody to come by with money? It is a uh, bottle jack. Do you know where these geodes are from? Well, we'll find out. Maybe we can find out when we see. Uh, see the inside. Oh, this is a little crumbly. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey. Pretty good. Yeah. I guess there's probably more on the other side, too. There we go. Yeah. That's a nice pocket. Interesting uh, cracker. I mean, so many people do the like cast iron pipe, the just pipe chain, punches, yeah. yeah, chain cracker. Those make a little cleaner cut for um, a lot of cases, but these works pretty well. For Very good. For and we've got a black bucks, light too. We can oh, see hey. if it. it does anything. It's quartz, so it may not fluoresce as much. <laughs> if you come in from oh, the top. There here. Oh, there you go. We'll be here for a minute. Grandma, go take a peek. See what it looks like. Not much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, uh, there's some faint, there's some faint, green. faint green, and there we go, right there. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, we just cracked one. How do people find out about the Lakeside Gem and Mineral Club? Uh, search Lakeside Gem and Mineral Club online. Uh, it's the LakesideGemandMineral.com, I think. And Facebook. We have, Facebook. we have a Facebook as well. Website. Uh, also a YouTube channel that's irregularly updated that I've made videos for, so it's pretty much it. Standard club stuff, right? Like meetings, yep. uh, field trips, this thing, the show. Yep. Standard awesome. Sir. Awesome. Yeah, I'll put all that info down below. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Very cool. Hello. Purple <laughs> <laughs> A lot of New Jersey mi minerals. Yes. And Franklin. It's always cool when uh, you see uh, the UV tunnels. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it shows up as very blue on camera. <laughs> oh. Well, people will have to come in yeah. person and see it. Yeah. Sunstones and such. <laughs> Didn't mean it's labs. <laughs> I appreciate that the water is very clean. You don't always see that. Yeah. I can say there's no one reason I went around the edge I found a pattern. It's like fall light. Hmm. Obviously keeping my eyes open for any zero lights. Hmm. Yeah, there's some still bite yeah, from India. Usually, like, it's pretty close, but it doesn't go to check out the I didn't get money for it. 
That's where I hope to be eventually. You guys, pretty good weekend? Yeah, yesterday was really good at this point. Yeah, we're going back tomorrow. I'll try to explain to you what I was going to do. I said from 1045 to 2245. You guys had fun with this. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna scoop right. that up. Thank you. <laughs> or my style. We got some nice polished uh, thunder. It's a. It's gotta be a triple. Almost looks like uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Clipped at the bottom there. It's always fun to see those. To see some little ones. Be fun to uh, grow some. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Look at, I got the chickens right here. What's the difference between? Hmm. Some nice seams. That's a big seam. It's a thick one. <laughs> huh. I don't, I'm usually pretty good at recognizing thunder eggs. I'm not sure where that one's from. Red. <laughs> Very cool. More thaw light here than what yeah. we've seen at other shows. <laughs> Way more. Got some specimens over here. Four dollar specimen. Hmm. So, like most um, club shows, the club sells different things, like grab bags. That's pretty cool. Rough dinosaur bone. Yeah, it's a good deal. Hello. Grab bags are the most popular thing at our booth. You're not allowed to peek, but you can feel them. <laughs> Only three dollars. That's pretty. That's pretty good. It is. It's all beautiful things. The age of styling. Big cubes of pyrite for three bucks. <laughs> should look at our our tickets. <laughs> oh yeah, I get the zero four nine. Our booth is all the proceeds go to the Junior Rock Club. Okay. And it's uh, kids ages 8 to 16 um, who are into rock collecting. And so we, um, you know, we, and we sell stuff that's kind of lower priced mm -hmm. for kids to collect. The Junior's cases are impressive. They are. They're, they're people put some work into those. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so polished slabs for four bucks. I would be charging more than four dollars for polished slabs. That takes $1. some time. One dollar. Unless otherwise marked. I have a hard time saying no to one dollar things. Hmm. Magazines. Okay, magazine. <laughs> magazines. There's always magazines. Sense. Modern mm. lapidary journals. How to make money from your hobby. Wait, wait, what's that there? Oh, I need to make a list. Yeah, you do. Well, I think we'll definitely get that one because... It doesn't look familiar. Yeah. The nice thing with these, if uh, I double up, I'm only out like a quarter. Yes. A couple of lapidary journals, 50 cents. Was there any more old ones in here? I, no, I don't think so. Well, sweet, I'm getting a couple of these guys. The table is always interesting to see and it changes. Um, it's a very nice, Piece of large, large tourmaline there. 
bucket of cat litter. Bucket of stuff for five bucks. There's a saw and three cabin units, all 3D printed. Mm -hmm. we'll, and, we'll look at those, we'll look at those. And the thing is, nobody's out there doing it, and the price of machinery nowadays mm -hmm. is so damn high. I know. High. So now, with the 3D printing, uh, I haven't found anybody out there that's willing to go ahead and join in with me and 3D print, and become their business, I and then turn around. My request is, okay, Probably cost you about a hundred dollars to make it. Sell it for two hundred. Don't go out there and gouge everybody out there. Yeah. And let's get the hobby growing back like it used to be. In the seventies, it was outrageous. I think I think we're experiencing uh, a resurgence of it, though. Yeah. It's starting. It's starting. Well, I'm I'm fighting like mad to get it going again yeah. because it's so much fun. That's fun. 3D printed in place, movable. Yeah. We, uh, even this. Here's your, uh -huh. your gator scal <laughs> scalping completely. Well, let's uh, look at your uh, the 3D printed machines that you, you have down here. So we, we've yeah. seen we've seen the saw before, yeah. and we saw some of the starts of these last yeah. time. This, this here will take a four inch or five inch wheel. This takes a six inch wheel, mm -hmm. and that one will take an eight inch wheel, which in all cases you can use either on here for cabbing or put it on the faceting machine for faceting. So you have a dual purpose, single cost for the wheels for both machines. It's, impre it's impressive to see. I, I, the big one is new. You didn't have that one last time. No, I didn't. And in fact, these two here, depending on how this one works out, will also have the curvature to curve down the splash sheet, uh, field of the machine. Very cool. And the whole thing, the arbor is actually 3D printed. Instead of having the machine out of aluminum or steel block to hold yeah. the bearing. It's all 3D hmm. printed. I'm used to using the Pro Diamond Demon. And yeah. a lot of people don't have a, a room to put a machine. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're going to do stuff for your family members and rings and stuff, this little one is so small, so light, yeah. so easy to use. And the thing is, it will be affordable, probably around a hundred dollars maybe even less depending on what my cost is to, to produce it if things i mean things like that are definitely the the future i mean it's, it's so it makes it so accessible so yeah. i want the hobby back i want everybody to enjoy it mm -hmm. and getting affordable machinery is going to help do that absolutely absolutely i couldn't agree more everybody uh i'll put links down below to my video over at your shop so yeah. And the thing is, is, I'm still looking if somebody wants to actually produce the machine and put it out there at a fair price and not this outrageous price that everything else is, get in touch with me where's and your I'll business show card? them the where's, files and everything to do it. Where's your business card at so I can show it? Right here. Do you have one? There we go. Well, thank you so this much, the end and I, I hope the show and, goes great. Yes, and it, I've been happy, and thank you for... I, to meet you again well, uh, we'll see. and let's see if we get more going yes here. absolutely overall i thought that was a pretty good show we got some fun stuff and uh that we can check out out in the shop i liked it what do you think yeah it was good yeah i thought it was a good show the cases were impressive um overall really positive the more people showing up here at the tailgate which that's cool to see it's nice to see uh, people like Mike and just all of it. All of it I thought was pretty good. And we got a cool little specimen there and uh, some slabs, some magazines. I mean, not slabs, some uh, thunder eggs, which that's good. So yes. catch up with you back in the shop. Back from the show. It was great. Couple of takeaways from it. You know, I think as far as rock shows go, having a tailgate sale on like the second or third day of the show, I think is pretty smart because, you know, the first day is when people get the very best deals on stuff. And sometimes the second and third day are a little meh, 
but having the tailgate sale is pretty uh, pretty good, especially if they promoted it more, I think. It would be really good. Um, I got four Thunder Eggs. The middle one's a double. I got four Thunder Eggs, 50 cents a pop. Uh, you can't argue with that. Uh, in the show, I got a couple of lapidary journals, which if you have not seen the fabulous uh, vintage lapidary journal, you are missing out. These are amazing to read. Like, there's so many great ideas in them. It's just, they're, they're fantastic. They are a treasure. They are a treasure. So, uh, very cool to pick up a couple of those. At some point, I won't have to pick them up anymore because I'll have all of the vintage ones, you know. And Modern Lapidary Journal, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I like the old ones. I like the old ones. I think they're better. Um, and I picked up a little zeolite. I've got this Helandite CA uh, for India. And uh, perfect size to fit in a perky box. Perfect for me. Love it. Uh, yeah, $3. Can't argue with that. The show was great. Uh, I would say for being a smaller show, it was probably better than some of the big shows that we've been to. You know, more people put more effort into those cases than I've seen in, you know, many shows. And hopefully, uh, Moving forward, uh, we'll be able to see even better cases and people can maybe watch some videos like this and get some ideas on how to set up a case at their own shows. Because the themes, labels, information, uh, variety, and then something interesting. Those are like the five things that make for like a really cool case and uh i just I, I dug it i dug it very happy and uh, it was cool to see mike and see patrick and you know meet people that watch the channel just uh overall uh, a great day so uh we'll leave this one here everybody uh thanks for coming by and uh watching i appreciate you throw me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't uh, that goes a long way in the promotion of this video as well as the website currentlyrockcounty.com catch you later